Get ready for video in one of the best cities in the whole world, Buenos Aires, Argentina. And today we travel to North Delta, we travel to Puerto Madero, we travel to the most expensive restaurants in the whole area. Let's get into it right now. Frutos. Mr. Ben, how are you liking Puerto Rico Frutos? Well, I'm excited to see what they got, what kind of frutos they got. Total side mission. We're heading right now to. I don't even do a boat ride for an hour and a half, so I'm excited. Uh, I think it's the Tigre River Boat Tour, so keep you guys posted. Uh, it should be pretty fun. They have like drinks, snacks, and it was 10,000 pesos each, so good pricing. We'll see how it goes. We're officially on the move. Let me show you guys the view. Wow, this is beautiful. Beautiful view. Take a look at this. I'd, I'd recommend it, like it's worth it to see. The private would be a little bit better. Um, what I wouldn't recommend if you ever go to Bariloche, do not do the Seven Lake Tour. The Seven Lake Tour is where you see, Bariloche is great, but where you see seven lakes in a car for 10 hours, all lakes are very similar. I would not recommend that, but right now we're going, we're right now just, I don't know, I took us the middle of nowhere in, uh, in Tigre. We're on the way to Nord Delta. So Nord Delta is, I think it's like the wealthiest, one of the wealthiest areas in all of Argentina. Apparently the houses are worth a million dollars and up. It's like an area with like a lot of pools and mansions and modern places. We're going there right now. We're gonna get some food, check it out. And we'll see you guys there. Now we're in the Uber heading to Nord Delta. Do you know anyone about Nord Delta, bro? Well, Nord would, would imply North. Okay, fuck, it's perfect over here, yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't disagree. What would that imply? Team Delta, bro. Yeah. Ah, Team yeah. Delta. He knows. <laughs> Do you speak English? No. Wow. No? A little? Oh, of no, course I do. You do? Yeah, I do. His Spanish is good. My Spanish is not good. No problem. How long have you been driving Uber for, bro? Uh, what month? What month are we? Ah, uh, it's we're in uh, oh, February. 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 That would be like uh, a year and a half. Year and a half. Here we are in Nor Delta. Nor fucking Delta. I got Benamin as they call him here. I mean, I'm gonna get demonetized or something, even though I got no monetization at all. I'll show you guys Nord Delta. It looks like this. Like this. A little boat thing. Now we feast on some Mexican food. Back to our Latam roots here. Hello? A little taco. How's that? It's good? Okay, sir. We're walking to a mall in uh, Nord Delta. We found out 
that we are not able to um, go to the houses here because nice, obviously they're gated. So we're gonna walk to a mall, check it out, and we'll see you guys there. Right now walking around Nor Delta Mall, very upscale. Um, you can tell every single person here kind of has some money. Very upscale, very cool mall. Um, I'll show you guys around a little bit. <laughs> Where's Waldo? But with Ben. I don't know where Waldo is or where Ben is. Seems to be a pattern of this trip. I am getting lost. He's getting lost. I don't know. We'll we'll try to find Ben right now, and I'll report back once I found Ben. I found Benjamin. Pretty average mall, but kind of cool. How do you like the mall, bro? Like that? We just finished the mall here. Now we're heading to Avenida Alviar. Avenue Alviar basically is the main shop in Three Points Arrows, or it's supposed to be. It has like Hermes, it has Mont Blanc, it has like nice stores, it has Fergamo and a mall there. So we're heading there. So check it out. And our Uber is here. Just here at Avenida Alviar at the Alviar uh, Palace. Just, I'm just heading in right now. Ben and I are now doing some dumb shit. We're at, uh, we're at this, uh, it's called Alvear Palace. How much Ben is the lemonade that you're maybe about to order? How much lemonade? Eight dollars. Eight dollars for lemonade. Feels like we're in Canada right now, man. But, should be a good spot. Look, look, looks fun, looks nice. It's a good environment. I'll show the, show the footage. It looks nice. We're heading to, uh, I'm just picking my girl, uh, a girl up. We're heading to uh, Puerto Madero. She's just coming out. She should be here soon. She should be here, right around here. I'll just, uh, uh, oh, there she is. I think maybe. Yeah? Marilyn. Marilyn. One sec, one sec, one sec. Yeah. And now we're heading to Puerto Madero. Uh, Puerto Madero, so I know today you've seen us go to North Delta, the residential area, uh, you've seen us go to Tigre, uh, we then went all the way down to Recoleta, we went to Puerto Madero, so Puerto Madero, and I'm just with my lovely girlfriend, Marilyn, um, we're going to Puerto Madero, so Puerto Madero basically is... Think of it as like kind of a kind of a new money area. It's an area with like a lot of big apartment buildings. It's modern, so we're gonna go walk around, show you a restaurant, and then we're going to go home. We just arrived in Puerto Madero. We're just arriving at Osaka, one of my favorite restaurants in, in Buenos Aires. It's basically a sushi. Peruvian mix, and we're gonna show you guys a little footage. All right. Very good. We just finished up in Osaka. Uh, really awesome. As you'll see, we had a bunch of nigiri. Uh, we had drinks, nice dessert. Awesome. Uh, I would highly recommend if you want really good sushi. Uh, sushi and drinks and the ambience is awesome. Come on, take stuff. See? In Uber right now, we're going back to my place in Palermo, Hollywood. Let's go. Okay, now it's the next day. Great night last night. Uh, yesterday was awesome. Thank you, Ben, for, for, for coming along. Thank you, Marilyn, as well. It's, that, that was fun. Now uh, is today. So today it's about, I don't even want to say what time. It is way too late. It's probably one o'clock right now. We, we slept in a lot. We were late last night. Uh, we're heading today to do some shopping, so we're going to head again to Avenue LBR. We're going to go to the mall, visit some nice stores. That's the first on the agenda. And probably some of the crazy stuff that will come up as we go. So I will see you guys either in the Uber or I'll see you guys when we arrive to the shopping street. Uh, we are on the way to Recoleta, as I mentioned, to Avenue LBR. So Recoleta, for anyone that doesn't know, anyone that's a tourist, or anyone that's not from Buenos Aires, not from Argentina, or doesn't know Argentina, is basically the old money area of Argentina. So when you, when you go to Recoleta, you see a lot of very, very nice old buildings. It's very European. People are dressed very nice. And it's kind of a little quiet. It's why it's the reason why Argentina has the reputation of, of, this, of the Paris of America. 
Okay, we've just arrived at the LVR. Um, we're gonna go and we're gonna take you guys along to an awesome restaurant, awesome cafe, and then we're gonna take you guys shopping and we're gonna show you guys all the kind of nice old my streets. And right behind me, I got Mont Blanc. If you wanna buy a thousand dollar pen, which we won't be doing, you can buy one right there. Taking a quick detour now from Abbey Alviar to get some food um, because I'm very, very hungry. And one thing I've learned is you never want a hungry woman by your side because a hungry woman by your side is not a fun woman by your side. So we just ordered. I um, went with a, I got a salad, almost, arugula, salad, arugula and tomatoes and cheese. And then I got us two steaks, Argentina, of course. So I got us a whole uh, beef steak, which is a ribeye, and, and a beef and And then I got us all this fries. just finished and we actually lucked out. We had no idea. It was a Michelin star restaurant, so it was super, super good. We were walking along Avenue Alviar. Um, I always like this spot, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty dope. It makes me feel very uncultured. I'm like an uncultured Canadian, although not the Canadians are uncultured. I'm maybe just uncultured and from Canada. Um, it's a very, very nice street. I come from not like very European stuff like this. I come from different stuff, so it's, it's, it's very cool. It's cool walking around. I'm walking with Marilyn. We're enjoying the day. Uh, we like this all the time, so kind of, this is basically my standard weekend, which is I work very, very hard from Monday to Friday, and on the weekend, I totally fuck off. So that might mean fucking off to another city, like, or another, like last weekend I went to Sao Paulo. It might mean fucking off to Mar del Plata, where I just went to recently. Or it might mean just going around and, and fucking off all day and, and walking around um, the city and that's that's what I'm gonna do. So okay, I have Marilyn here. Marilyn is the local Spanish expert. I get by People understand me, I can understand them. When I say I get by, I mean I have a absolutely horrendous, horrendous accent and my verbs are not there. Marilyn has uh, obviously been in Spain Colombia, so she's going to just give you a breakdown on her end. Um, this, this Marilyn, um, historia y un poco que es barrio recoleta. Arriving at Patio Bora, right behind us, Sophie Tell. If you want to pay a thousand dollars night for a hotel room, that's the spot. Um, we're gonna Patio Bora now. So we'll show you guys around. We'll do some shopping, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll show you guys around. Zara, H&M, I have a little cost polo, but I don't know. So we're gonna go to Zara, maybe cops up it, maybe cops up right we'll see. We'll see. Just finished at, at uh, Zara, sad news, we didn't we didn't buy anything, there was literally nothing even really interesting, so we didn't buy anything. So now, we're sitting down, and we're going to relax for a bit, chill for a bit, and then I'm gonna head over to Lacoste, Maybe get some there. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We have done a little shopping. Not really. We, we've looked around bizarre cool places. I uh, haven't bought anything. And now we're sitting down for a meal. It's a it's a very, very nice uh, spot. It's just called, I'll show you guys. It's called Francisco. Super nice spot. Um, I'll show you guys a little footage. We're, we're gonna, I'm going to order called Media Lunas. They're basically like overpowered 
croissants. So sorry France, but maybe Luna's are much superior. Thank you, Regina. They're basically like cooked croissants. They're sweeter, they're great. We're gonna order that. We're gonna order some orange juice. We're gonna order maybe some water. And then we're gonna finish and hopefully buy something at the store. Cheers. Okay, we just finished. Uh, we had a carrot cake and we had some water. And we had actually really good orange juice. Monte Gusto. Well, good. Now next off, we're gonna either buy some clothes and you'll see that, or you'll see us next at a park uh, next. Okay, so we actually are not in Puerto Madero at a park because I'm a sporadic motherfucker and I just do random shit. I don't know, I gotta probably be more like cookie cutter. That's why it's school in a bird for me because I was doing weird shit. But uh, we actually are at Casa Rosado. This is the, I believe it's the president's house. See? Casa Presidente. Si. Si. President's house. So we're at Casa Rosada right now. And all around us is absolutely beautiful shit, or as probably just stuff. Stuff. So there's that. Casa Rosado. So we're here. I don't know. I just want to check it out in the way. It's very close to Madero. So we're here checking it out right now. And here. And that's that. I'll walk around a little bit. I'll show you guys. I'm going to show you guys quickly a little bit of footage of this. And then. Unless I do some weird shit again, which I'll try not to, we're gonna next be in Porto Madero, and that's like a five minute walk from here. Zero back to that, but it's kind of like cool the, the contrast. Like right back there, we have kind of the Parisian ish, -ish style kind of back there, and then if you look right here, we have uh, a much more modern kind of, kind of look right there. So, anyways, we're gonna really check it out. Is the view right here? It's, it's pretty, pretty beautiful, and it's surprisingly, surprisingly empty in uh, today. So normally, normally where we are right now, it's super, super, super packed. I'm thinking it's the combination of the the bad weather and not bad weather, but not beautiful weather, not super sunny, and maybe it being, um, maybe it being a, a Sunday. I don't know. But yeah, not super, super busy here, but yeah. We'll walk around. Oh, look at this. Good tango. Good tango right there. Good tango. Tango right there. Anyways, pretty cool spot, Arsenius. We got. My fat face blocking the tango right there. You got buildings in the background, beautiful buildings, modern buildings. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty beautiful spot. Cuanto vas, amigo? Todo barato, mira, de económica, sin luces, tres mil. Tres mil? Sí. Y tenés, mira, escúchame. Te voy a enseñar. Tienes que aprender, mira, 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 mira. Mira, tenés con luces, mira, con luces, seis mil. Con lucecitas. ¿Me viste las lucecitas que están? Uh, Mira, tienes en blanco, multicolor. Oh, es ok, es ok, es ok. Yo así. Ahí está, amigo. Ahí está. Muchas gracias. Una hermosa tarde. Sí, sí, también, también. Ok, I just bought a flower for myself right now. To boys, men, treat yourself. A lot of them people say, I don't know, say, oh, flowers for women. Uh, I disagree. I think boys, treat yourself. You want to go get flowers, you want to get a pedicure, get that done. But for now, I'm gonna let Marilyn carry this. She carry my flowers for now. For now, she'll carry it. I just paid. I got scammed. Probably just paid four dollars. Four dollars for a flower. But. Now we go to Costanera. This is a recommendation for Marilyn. I am putting it all on her. 
If it's bad, it's her fault. And if the rest of the video is bad, which it could be, <laughs> that's all my fault. So <laughs> putting this one on her, putting this on her right here. <laughs> if it's boring, it's on her and the rest of the video. If the rest of the video is boring, well, that, I'm gonna take, I'll take the L for that one because the rest is all my idea. So I'm gonna go to Costa right now. Uh, apparently it's, it's coming out deal. Okay, so it's like a, it's a, it's a river. I guess we're gonna go there, we'll check it out. Yeah. Go there, check it out. And uh, we'll see you guys at the river. Okay, we arrived at the real river. I'm gonna show you the real river really quickly. We arrived at the real river. Back here. Let me show you the river right there. And now we're buying Coca-Cola from two nice gentlemen right here. Quanto es amigo por dos? Tres, okay. Tres. Bueno, 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 bueno. Norma. ¿Qué te pasa? Ah, no sé qué. Gracias. Gracias, amigo. Gracias. What a wild spot this is. We have ducks and we have turtles in this river. <laughs> Right now we are completely lazing at the river. I don't even know or probably want to sail along the here. I don't know, maybe Kono Temple Ka. Like an hour, maybe an hour and a half to be honest, the river. Um we right now she is practicing uh, uh learning her English and I am touching on my Spanish because my Spanish is at a point where people understand me. But I can talk in Spanish, but it's a very, very aggressively gringo accent for one, and for two, I've learned it solely. Yo aprendo español so so total cuando habla chicas y amigos taxi. So my problem is, is like my, I have no grammars. I'm learning the grammar right now. She's learning English a little bit better, and that's that. We're still at the river I'm getting cotton candy right now. Here's this amigo. Graham, e nombre? Jorge. 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 And then from there, we're gonna maybe grab Indian food or grab some of food. We'll figure it out. So, um, we're going right now. We'll show you the way. We'll show you Puerto Vallarta. Okay, I think we're getting an award for how much walking we're doing. Like, I hope we get an award because that's maybe the only benefit. We've been walking so freaking much. We're on a mission now to find food. I don't feel like sushi, but the thing is, Marilyn and I, we've been trying to, we've been thinking of trying the sushi place for so long. We see it everywhere. Sushi story? No. Sushi story? Name. We can't remember the name. There's a sushi place we've been trying, we've been, we've been attempting to try this place for so long, and we never have, so you know, we're, we're saying, fuck it, we're gonna try it today. Uh, I, I forgot the name of it. It's sushi something right there. It's right there. It's called ah fabric sushi. Fabric ah. sushi. We're gonna fabric sushi. Uh, I've heard good. I've heard good things about it. I'm gonna let you guys know. We're gonna go there. We'll film some footage inside. It's one of the more popular ones um, in the area. So I'll let you guys know there's uh, how it is. We're, we're gonna go there right now, and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> This meal, this place of fabric sushi, is unbelievably good. Especially price-wise. I've been to a lot of restaurants. Like, I've been to probably every single quote-unquote top sushi restaurant except for one other one I want to go to. And every single one to Buenos Aires. Um, the level at uh, fabric sushi is it's a, it, not as good as Osaka or the other place called Unio Makase, which is a Michelin star. It's maybe a step or a step and a half below, but Price-wise, legitimately, it's crazy for the price. Um, highly recommend. You're gonna spend probably a third here. Like, 
this so the ceviche is eight thousand. It's it's eight 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 thousand. So like eight eight USD. The rolls are, I believe, ten thousand. It's like it's like ten, it's gonna be for two people. Thirty dollars for all this food and drinks. Amazing value. Okay, just finished up at Fabric Sushi. Um, actually, really, really good as I said earlier in the other video. Um, incredible, awesome, awesome, awesome value. Um, awesome value. Really good food. Only thing is they charge you, which I've never heard of before, and I don't know if I just got fucking scammed, but they charge you like two point five or three thousand pesos for a service fee. I don't know why that is. They didn't tell you when you enter. Apparently, it's for the. I don't know. It's, it seems kind of bullshit. But I don't know. Apparently, it's for like. I don't, I don't know what it's for. Maybe for entry. I don't, I don't know. I was like, oh, whatever. But it's what it is. Um, so I'm an Uber, and the video is ending. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and we're going home now.